What's up guys? Figured it's time for a little shop update. We've been slacking on the YouTube lately, mostly because we've just been busy and haven't had a ton of time, but we'll show you what we got going on. Over here, we have lots of steering kit material getting ready to get bent on our Bailey tube bender. They'll get welded together, go out to powder coating. We are in the packing, shipping, receiving, and office bay. Over here, we have a really sweet truck that is getting all of our suspension, front and rear, long travel, rear leaf suspension, long travel rear shock mount kit with king shocks in the rear and the front. This truck is so clean and beautiful and is really going to turn out quite nice with some new suspension. We got Grant over here working on a ZF5 cross member and some modified beams. And then this bay is currently empty, but it is getting a 9904 Super Duty so that we can start the suspension design on that. So we got some new things coming. Let's go take a look at the Duramax project truck. I'm sure there might be some people curious as to how that's going and what is going on with it. And unfortunately, it's not going to be at the OBS show this year. We just had too many hangups. But it is still sitting here in the weeds, collecting dust, patiently waiting for the engine and transmission. The engine is currently at the machine shop. It's been there for, I don't know, about six months, maybe a little less. And we ran into some troubles with one engine having some cracks in it, another one having unusable heads, both of them having unusable heads. So kind of uh, some stumbling blocks there, but we've already got all the mounts done and I think it's probably gonna go like fairly quick once we get going on it. And that should be, you know, after the show, we'll get back on going on this. But it gets hard to work on, you know, personal projects slash product development when we have customer rigs to work on. So moving on to the last thing is our shop crew cab short bed. And it's kind of just a, you know, it gets some love every once in a while but take a look at it we got the swap the weld wheels over onto it place the ac compressor and receiver or er, and uh orifice tube and it's getting ready to go to lake shasta for a much needed break we'll be towing the boat we got some xrs pit bikes in the back and hopefully gonna have a good time so this truck has our, as you probably already know, has our TTB front suspension coilover kit, has our long travel rear leaf suspension, long travel rear shock mounts with Kings and no airbags. And this thing just kind of does it all. It's a 460 five speed truck that, you know, is fairly underpowered, but you know, it, it does the job. It's got a set of headers that came with it and that's basically it. And the cool part about this truck is we're able to take it out and just hammer on it off-road, you know, hit jumps, uh, whoops, you know, you name it, have a great time. And then the next day or the same day, come up, come back, load up a trailer and go work with it or use it for, you know, the things that we use it for, like towing a dump trailer or towing a boat throwing motorcycles in the bed. Yes, it does squat with our rear suspension without airbags. It is a soft rear suspension and rear leaf pack that, you know, you can't really overload and hurt, but if you are gonna be doing, you know, some, some moderate towing with it, we definitely recommend airbags. Uh, if you're gonna have like a welder rig set up on the bed and your truck's gonna weigh in over 10,000 pounds without a trailer, or you're constantly running like a, a heavy cab over camper, then we definitely wouldn't recommend the hour rear suspension just cause it's probably going to be too soft for you. But for your general like do it all truck 
or for a, you know, if you're going to run like a, a light, you know, pop-up camper, you know, that sort of stuff, it, it works really well. And the unloaded ride quality is just the best that we have experienced. So the, the cool part about this truck is it receives like minimal love and yet it still just does everything that we need it to do. And I love that. Um, it should get a little more attention, but you know, right now it does not. We'll take a look under the hood so you can really see this beautiful gem of a 460. Here we go. So impressive. You know, got the, the factory airbox. We got a new distributor because that went out. Some semi-fresh plug wires and plugs as of a year ago. And then the main thing we just did was a new AC compressor and a new orifice tube because whenever the AC would turn on on this, it would make a loud like clunk, like the clutch was quite questionable. And we're about to head down to Lake Shasta in Northern California, where the temperatures are gonna be consistently like over a hundred degrees. And I really didn't want to deal with potentially not having AC and try to keep everything as maintained as possible because nobody likes having to fix things on the side of the road. And uh, last year, we actually had one of the wheel bearings on the boat trailer went out on the brake axle and we're cruising home and see a big old cloud of smoke coming out behind us, pull over and the trailer uh, brake and everything caught on fire and started licking up the side of the boat and we luckily got that remedied but now the trailer has all new wheel bearings hubs brakes tongue like the works because we really don't want to deal with that and i know should have repacked them before we went i normally do that every year but i hadn't taken the boat out much the year before so i was like ah they're probably fine and that's what i get for being complacent but all in all that's a little update of what's going on. Uh, everybody needs to go out and have some fun every once in a while, and we need a break from the shop. Figured I would share with you guys, and I also, you know, I absolutely love how this truck looks with the Weld Super Singles. And the OG Nautique 210 just is, uh, it's a fun truck. And, you know, the inside is, is fairly clean as well. It's, uh... It's kind of grandpa. I've got this boss deck that I'm really not a fan of just because it worked great for a short period of time and then it decided to just start resetting constantly and volume knob doesn't work and it just does goofy stuff. So I'm hoping maybe if I update it, it'll work. Maybe I can contact boss. I don't know. That's what I get for going cheap. I uh, should have just gotten a, a nice high-end one, but that is what it is. So we'll see how it functions on our trip today. Oh, you might want to see this. This is the Super Duty that we are doing the prototyping on for the new front suspension. And it is absolutely beautiful and clean and a well-deserving truck for what we're doing. The owner, it's currently a V10 truck, but the owner has a fully built 12 valve Cummins that will be going in it. And it's just gonna be a, a sweet, sweet truck. So we will definitely post more updates and videos on that as we get there. Let's see, is there anything else? Um, there might be one more thing. So once the Duramax truck is put together, the Weld Super Singles are going back on that because I love those wheels. But we do have a sweet set of wheels that are going to be going on the Crew Cab short bed for summertime use and non-off-road use. But they are a set of 17 by 10 Weld Scorpios. They still need some repairs done, uh, you know, just like scuff up marks filled with the TIG welder and then they're going to go off to get polished and 
think they will look really good on that truck. Very period correct. And my wife will drive that truck more and she is a Scorpio. So it just kind of makes sense, I guess. But it'll be fun to have welds on both. We are going to have to get some sort of wheels that are going to be usable for off-road stuff that, you know, if they get beat up, it's not the end of the world. And the wheels I've really been liking lately are battle-worn wheels. I love that they're just all raw aluminum. And they some of them even have like a classic weld style. But you can get them in beadlocks. And, you know, they just are more of a rugged wheel. And, you know, not a rare 90s billet wheel that if you break it, you're really going to be disappointed. So hopefully we can get a set of those coming and use those for winter applications and off-road applications and who knows might be unnecessary but we shall see so that is all for the update right now i believe uh, the duramax project is still going it's just these things take time and i really don't want to rush it because it's it's going to be a really sweet truck that deserves to just get done when it gets done and do everything at the highest quality that we can. Plus we are developing all of the conversion parts for this so that any of you guys that want to do it will basically be able to do this swap. Our goal is to make it as simple as being able to do it like in a weekend besides having your drive lines cut and made. So that's kind of the goal. We're also going to, you know, we, we do installs service work, all that stuff. So if anybody wants to bring their truck to us for one of those conversions, they totally can as well. Um, but that will probably get wrapped up sometime this winter and we'll go from there. So please like subscribe and tell us what you'd like to see. You know, we haven't really done like a shop update video like this before. And I always want to make sure that we're putting out like decent content. You know, I'm not, not very good at this. So if you guys like this, like, could you let me know and we will do more of it because these are easier to film than trying to film the process of doing all the different work that we do because, you know, we do have to pay hourly rates and all of that stuff and filming just takes a lot longer and it's not our primary source of income yet as much as I would like it to be. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I hope all of you guys are having a great summer and feel free to check out our website if you want some of the best OBS suspension out there, Cummins conversion parts, steering linkage, battery trays, hydro boost, vacuum pump stuff, you name it. Anyways, have a good one. We'll talk to you guys later. Cheers.